Although Navratri Durga Puja for this time of year has now completed, some really terrible stories of attacks on Hindus during this time. An entire Hindu family was brutally murdered on Vijaya Dashami in West Bengal. It's really a terrible story. Video has also surfaced of stone pelting attacks on Durga Puja processions during Visarjan in UP's Balrampur. OpIndia.com counted eight attacks on Durga Puja and Dasara processions in just two days. It included stone pelting attacks on processions as well as breaking of deities. All of these sorts of attacks happened at the time of Navratri, the celebration time for the Divine Feminine Consciousness. People wonder why Devi Durga comes in ferocious form. World Hindu News published notice that a directive was issued to chief secretaries in 11 Ganga Basin states by the National Mission for Clean Ganga, telling that immersion of Durga deities into Ganga during Visarjan should be met with a fine of 50,000 rupees. Complete plans for providing an alternative were not yet implemented. This despite a glaring lack of clamping down on industrial and sewage pollutants daily spewing into Ganga for decades. This of course not precluding the Kaveri Calling Project which aims to clean up and revitalize the sacred Kaveri River. Attacks at this time and on underage Hindu girls has reached such alarming rates that it has inspired people like this man Abhishek Abhi in UP to take drastic measures of teaching up to now 200,000 young girls to defend themselves physically against potential attackers. In efforts to enrich the society and reawaken powerful cognitions amongst Hindus, intensive cleansing meditations were performed all over Tamil Nadu and really all around the world through various online portals this weekend by Nityananda Sangha in preparation for receiving the purification energies from Nataraja Abhishekam also happening at this time. It is to be importantly noted that Nityananda Sangha of Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam is also creators of the world's only Hindu nation today. There's a vast goal to revive and provide all the authentic Vedic sciences to the world in a way that will be easily accessible to people all over the world and to reintroduce Hindus to the strength and purpose of the ancient enlightenment civilization of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. A special meditation is being held October 13th at 7 a.m. India Standard Time through the Nityananda.tv webpage and Facebook pages. OpIndia.com reports on the need for Hindus like Jewish people to tell the world about the centuries of Hindu suffering. Incidents stretch back thousands of years, but many incidents happening today are heavily glossed over, hidden on back pages or not even reported at all. Incidents are frequently misreported and remain that way in print forever. The truth needs to be told if for no other reason than to wake up Hindus lulled into false sense that everything will be okay. The entire civilization way of life is at threat. Gurukuls for children, libraries of Vedagamic scriptures must be created to preserve and teach the enlightenment sciences as real, powerful solutions to revive strong Hindu communities able to rise above the ashes of constant barrage. If you feel responsibility is a power, you make your life successful.